Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Supreme Ruler Ultimate. That's what we're playing, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was gonna say I was gonna say EU4 um, uh, with uh, me, Commissar Rush playing as Romania, uh, Bundeswehr Bob playing as Germany, Benjamin Magnus playing as Poland, and Mordred Viking playing as the Netherlands, uh, where everyone else but me is currently in a desperate struggle against the Russian menace, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just kind of sitting here working on my economy. Yeah, Romania doesn't want to defend the free world. Shame on you, Romania. Shame on you. <laughs> we honestly can't, really. Uh, so, uh, something I would suggest is, if you guys aren't actively using them, is to reserve your units that are not actually, like, doing ace fighting or anything like that. Okay. So, like, Ben, you've got, like, land use just kind of sitting around everywhere. Yeah. Of course, you're actually, you've got your AI, though, on, like, full or something for your land units. Well, I did, but they didn't move my land units around at all. They just sat still the entire time. Yeah, so I would recommend like just uh, turning them on, like either turning them off or turning them to low or something like that, and reserving a shit ton of stuff. Because active military personnel will consume more in maintenance cost okay. than if you just reserve them. So and how do we go about doing that? So you would yeah, select but... whatever units that you want to reserve, then give them the reserve order to whatever the facility is that you want them to reserve reserve to, or you could just right click like anywhere in the map and they'll just reserve to the closest base to that spot. All right. So if you're done with the men, I'm going to send the Dutch forces home. Okay. So I'm just gonna. I just grabbed a bunch of units and I'm like, okay, go reserve. Because I think I got I got all these land units sitting around, not really doing anything. This has really turned into more of a uh, an other kind of war, other armed forces. Oh, That's a Mr. lot of Russian years. units uh, coming towards your blockading force, Ben. Uh, you mean in the north or in the south? In the north. Look at that stack of Russian. Oh, I Russian. see him. <laughs> There's a single, like, Polish patrol boat just like, nope, you shall well, not, not pass. pass. <laughs> they can't do it's anything. It's a tiny little ship, too. It's 400 <laughs> tons. <laughs> it's, it's just letting it pass now. What are you doing? <laughs> Kill him. Oh, wait. <laughs> No, oh, why? Why aren't the German? Why isn't the German Air Force going up there? Didn't you just get transferred? Well, the German Air Force is currently in for maintenance right now. They they've been fighting <laughs> for a long time, but they've been going up against Russian you know, surface ships, and you know they're they're busy. Some... They're repairing. Plus, then they're going to be on their way to Estonia because we just got transit rights from them. So we'll be flying missions out of Estonia here in the near future. The, okay, so the Russians must be sending ships in from like Sevastopol. What's going on now? War declared. Syria declared war on ISIL. Oh, okay. I support that. Yeah. Well. All right. So I, 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 I'm. I forgot that was still a thing. I forgot Iceland was still around. Yep. Yeah, Ben, you're gonna have to stop all those units coming your way. Uh, if I can figure out how, I'll do it. Or well, there's some Dutch submarines out there too, so they might help. Oh, the Russian Navy is actually fighting mine off the coast of the Netherlands. I'll send my my wee little ships up there to. Go have some fun. I've lost two escorts, but then my final escort seems to actually be holding them off. Yeah, maybe I'll have to keep my air force around here, actually, out on the west side to uh, keep things in order. Air patrol. Well, this patrol, my t my wee little patrol bolt doesn't actually seem capable. Well, he's killed one unit. He's not really that good at sinking things. Yeah, but the German the German surface fleet is now currently in dock for repair right now. Which actually a bunch of them are just actually coming out of repair. Speak of the devil. Oh, a bunch of Russian transports are sneaking past. Oh no, you don't. Yeah, a bunch just snuck past. I'm gonna start deploying the surface fleet over there. So let's take my my planes here. Can I send them out to do stuff. Oh yeah, that that did, that did it. So they land. Okay, they're oh they're trying to land now. So uh, just sent a diplomatic over church with other ones. You did. Oh, the Russian Air Force showed up! Holy God, they came out of nowhere! Oh, they're everywhere! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Woo! 
It's a madhouse! Well, oh shit, they landed. They landed. <laughs> they're all gonna die. <laughs> they're, they're landing into just like taking machine gun fire. Yeah. Their business. And they're, and, they're and, almost and, all dead. <laughs> and Dutch submarine like torpedoes too. Yeah, they're, there they go. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. That was a daring Russian raid that didn't really work out too well for them. Meanwhile, the heroic. <laughs> Every once in a while, a Russian plane door. comes over and. Hello, air okay, combat. Okay, mouse, mouse over is out of, right out of the strait there, out, out of St. Petersburg. Mouse over where that merchant marine is for the Russians. Look how long that list is. Oh my god. <laughs> you, just, you need to send some escort ships up there. You need to send the uh, uh, whatever that uh, that big ship that's currently uh, next to uh, next to um, Gotland uh, band. Just just start going ham on those guys. Fuck it, we're sending the air force up there. Send the submarines. I can't get them to move. Oh, there we go. All right, I really need to build some more ships. All right, time for a little bit of a turkey shoot. Oh, my escort's got some experience. I lost four of them, though, I think. All right, I'm setting, I'm setting my surface ships over there. Whoo, there's a lot of men. I feel sorry for everybody watching my perspective. I know it's kind of boring, but Romania is not... Uh, the whole reason I chose Romania was because it was a very slow start, and I would... <laughs> and I could, uh... Uh, I could focus on the other part of the game, the economy, which uh, I realize now doesn't make for great content. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is one thing Supreme Ruler does very well, is it models the economy very good uh, in the sense that it makes it very, um, what's the word? Unpredictable. I don't even think you're killing a lot of these merchant ships. You're just wounding. You're them. hitting them, and they're and they're leaving. <laughs> we got them. We got them cock blocked, though. I sent uh, most of my big ships up there. Now we're sinking some. The numbers are going up. It's not fair. It's just not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. There was time now. They're so close to the air base that like, the, the, the aircraft are just auto deploying. Just get it go. That's beautiful. I'm just gonna keep that as is. I'm just gonna. I'm not even. I don't even have like those ships aren't don't have any orders. They just shoot anything that gets within range. I think. Dear. <laughs> 10 out of 10, 100% completely accurate historic representation of the Great Russo-Polish War of 2017. Mm -hmm. Oliver Perry is sunk. 38 Russian transports. How much combat time? He's still got plenty. He's got 80 of 120 on the combat time left. Just blocking the straits here while the Russians throw in men. I don't know, it seems like the uh, they've slowed down in Finland. I think it was that uh, that raid they had against Kaliningrad. They just uh, they loaded up a huge number of their forces and just pushed them out. Oh man! Yeah, we've actually thinned. Oh, th that fleet's almost gone. Look at it. They're gone. That whole stack. Yes, marvelous. Oh, my submarines are starting to get quite a lot of experience too. Nine kills, 14, 12, 7. 50, the Oliver Perry is sunk 51. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Sank an entire Russian the army. Oliver Perry's, the Oliver Perry's <laughs> naval jack is just full of battle stars. <laughs> <laughs> that is its jack. <laughs> Papua New Guinea. Uh, wants to do some trading? No. U.S. All no. 
comment from the chat. With all those ships sunk in the same spot, they probably created a new artificial island there. Yeah, there's a reef there. <laughs> it's the new island. <laughs> <laughs> And I think that the the German Air Force is going to be able to. Uh, well, you're doing some. You're doing some good up there. Now, so okay, so Estonia. Say I wanted to get access there. How could I increase relations with them? We're already uh, up giving Porto. them, giving them money, giving them free technology, um, doing lower level trade deals. So like like free flow of ra uh, labor or criminal extradition uh, is also Missile something. Defense. Missile defense is a good one. Stuff like that. Like, things where it's not a huge, um, like, uh, like, uh, 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 agreement. Like, it's not a huge, uh, thing they have to worry about, and it'll increase your relations slightly every time. And then you can go for the big stuff. Oop, stuff's gonna poop. Yeah, hey. Right, how bad's my economy? Approval rating's up to 24%, so it's gone up by 10% at least. How much in debt am I? That's the question. Uh... Ooh, the Finnish are actually pushing back a little bit. Sixty kills on the Oliver Perry now. <laughs> oh, my economy's okay. I'm in the positive. Well, that escalated. So, I, whenever I go over and look at uh, St. Petersburg, I just see this endless line of troops moving, and it looks like something's blowing up over there. Is that Bob's espionage? Uh, that's uh, yeah. part of it. Yeah, if he's if he's sabotaging, then if you see a little explosion every so often yeah. where the spies at, that is uh, that would be him sabotaging. I sent a spy to Archangel. Where'd he go? Well, he'll. If depends on what kind of mission you sent him on. If you sent him on an on an espionage, he'll be there until uh, he like captures some. He either gains something or is captured himself. If it's sabotage, he will sabotage the thing and then go back home. Uh, if it's recon, I think he sits there until he just is captured. Yeah, He's just hanging out in Denmark for some reason. What? I can't trust the Danes. <laughs> they just sat there while you were destroying all these Russians. Didn't even lift a finger to help. Why is he in Denmark? I sent him to Archangel. Oops, and did you... Did you... Uh, you had Russia selected first, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, I did. And then you, you clicked on the mission, then you clicked on the spot. Yep. Well, how do I cancel a mission, then? You don't. Great, so I just have a permanent spot in Denmark. Yeah. Right, let's try that again. Archangel. At least there, there's no way to cancel one that I'm aware of, anyway. Well, while this is all going on, Germany is going to improve its economy a little bit by increasing ore production. There we go. Just have one talk, Angel. There's got to be a way to see. Oh, here we go. Under construction. Days remaining 53 days. There we go. Let's go see. Over here. Days remaining. Oh, let's supply that one. Too. That was complete. Oh, okay. Uh, my, oh, my synth coal dude. How to synth coal? Oh, I got coal. <laughs> you know who'd say that as a synth? Uh, so I got lots of coal. I'm still importing tons of oil. So why don't we probably... Oh, Syria's gone. Apparently oh. ISIL won. ISIL won? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they did. <laughs> Some bitch. Well, that's unexpected. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't uh, wasn't expecting that. Okay, so uh, probably could use more of these. So build. 
if, if for some reason, because I know these guys, I know the guys look at Let's Plays a lot, uh, the developers of um, of Supreme Ruler Ultimate, uh, if, if you could, uh, just, just something I'd, I'd request for the next patch or a patch in the future, why can't I play as Kurdistan? Like, it's an independent nation on the map, but no matter what, you can't play as it in any of the scenarios, even when it's available, even when it's, like, actually on the map. I think that'd be a very fun playthrough in the 2017 start. But, uh, yeah, just just something to think about. Potential developers that may be watching. Well, you know what? I can actually ping them right now on their Discord. Oh! Special access, ooh. What's that? There's, I mean, it's a great game, but I don't think a lot of people are playing it. Uh, like I've in terms a lot of, of requests place. for it. There's not a lot of content creators making stuff for it. Let's just say that it's a, it's it, you know it's one of those games that's not it's tough to look at. It's visual. It's I gotta say this. It's it's quite visually unappealing. But I know that wasn't the goal of the game, so I can't fault it for that. They didn't put a lot of effort into the visuals because it's just there to convey the information. So that's probably why a lot of people aren't aren't running content on it because it's you know even Hearts of Iron Three looks better than it. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. I just lost another of my escorts. Ah, we're going to clean coal tech. I'm doing all this coal, and we're, it's clean coal. It's the cleanest coal. I have the cleanest coal. It is the biggest clean coal. So how long have uh, Russia and Finland been at war with uh, each other? Like a month? A month? Not even. I don't think. I mean, they're they're creeping in. They're getting closer and closer to Helsinki. So they slowed down a lot, though. Finland, are you really sure you don't want to give me like air transit? Oh, there we go. You'll give me air transit now. Oh, but counter offer. You want me to pay you half a billion dollars to do it? <laughs> I mean, think about this. Think of how many Russians you can kill. That's why I'm paying them. <laughs> All right, we're gonna send our air force back up there. Start hitting the Russians right where they're fighting. Yeah. Too bad you don't have an AWAC in the area. Or did, well, those did you have been, lose all your AWAC? Those have been shot down. I'll probably <laughs> I'm gonna research a better model and just use them from there. Alright, get bent Russians! That's a lot of Russians. Whoa! Yeah, now we can see. The Finland's encircled. Oh no! Well, they, oh, there's actually they, there aren't units in the north, so they could get out if they could move. Well, there's no supply up there, though. I mean, if, so what you can do is if you if you just pr you can hit S and that'll give you the supply map mode, right? And the darker the color, the more supply there is. If there's no color, that means there's no supply there. Gotta turn this one off. So there there okay. is no supply effectively north of that. That is the battle right there outside of Helsinki. Like that's where the battle has to be. Like like infrastructure is important, you know, just like in Hearts of Fire Three, you know. So having railway and road and supply bases in areas that you want to fight is super duper important. I mean, the Russians overall are less, uh, they have less health, so they've taken a lot more damage pushing, doing this push, but they've, they've been able to cut off the majority of the, Ru of the Finnish military. Yeah. Oh, Finland. I offered them a transit treaty to see if I could get my, my stuff up there. Syria has ceased to exist today. Oh, what'd they say? Uh, oh, they accepted. Full transit treaty. Who's this? Italy. I mean, oh, you're, the... you're helping, Bob. Like, the, the, that uh, southern push got knocked back pretty hard by your uh, by your typhoons or whatever you're using. Uh, tornadoes and Eurofighters. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're pushing them back pretty hard. I'm going to send my Air Force up there. Also, you just, apparently just launched a missile out of the random Russian patrol boat in the ocean. Killed it. <laughs> 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 it's just, <laughs> well, I researched the AS, ASX-6 Snoken missile right off the bat, which is an air launch and naval launch. It's only size 3, so I can put it on, like, any sort of, like, vehicle I want, practically. So uh, the nice. problem is that I just don't have enough production to keep it really going. All right, my planes are moving up into Finland. Yay! 
There they go! Zoom, 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 zoom. All right, so now I can select them and I can give them an order, right? Yeah, you're probably best off like right around uh, uh, Lati. Lati, Lati there, uh, just Lati. Send, let's see. So do I just like send a patrol right there because they're pushing right on that? Uh, there they right go. Ba 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 ba. Die. Mm. Well, you didn't set up a patrol. You just have them in the area. Just All right, go home. Area. It's they're working. Just, they're just <laughs> like, they're just like. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> patrol. So let's select all of them, and then load to escort air patrol. Is that what I want? Yes. Yeah. And then just tell them to go over there and kill ruskies. They're like that's what my aircraft do. Is they just run in, oh, drop yeah, some bombs go. on oh, them, and then come back. Of course, it looks like you might have sent some transport planes over there. Is that what those are? I just took everybody. Yeah, you. <laughs> Set a super Hercules into a combat zone. <laughs> Wait, is that said, the, okay? This is Super Hercules. Maybe, maybe you don't do that. I mean, I know it looks like an AC-130 gunship, but it's not. An what, AC what is? What is the? Is this a transport for the CN-295? What is this? Yes. You, so it's, it has TRP as a transport. So oh, okay. you just said, like maybe you go home. <laughs> just some guys that like were like transporting rubber dog shit out of Hong Kong are now suddenly <laughs> flying into the Russian combat zone. <laughs> There's fucking AA missiles just like racing past them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I didn't sign up for this. I'm gonna send all my aircraft home to get repaired. Which actually, I should have a bunch of interceptors ready to go now at this point. I've had to dial back production of basically everything because I think I'm effectively bankrupt. How, I'm not. It's the Netherlands. It's it's hmm. not like he has a pretty robust economy right now. It's bond debt thirty nine billion. I mean, we've we've been at war since you know a week in, so you know a lot of expenses have been put towards that. Yeah, we've okay. been at war since March. I think the transports can go home. They're not needed over here. So one thing that we can't talk about is if you are running out of money, you can essentially get a loan, which is a bond issue. And you can do that through, I'm not saying you should do it. I'm just saying you can do it through, uh, go to your finance tab. Oh, I'm pretty sure we've been doing that. <laughs> well, That's uh, what I'm saying. It's, it's automatic. I've got 39 oh, billion. Oh, well, you can lock that out. Yeah, you, I think you I can tell should. him not to do that by going to your minister and locking those controls out. Like I, I've got mine set up to not take new bonds uh, right now unless I specifically say yes. Let's take a loan. Yeah, my tax rate is eighty-one percent. Jesus Christ, communist Netherlands. Jesus Christ, it looks like we've beaten uh, we, we've beaten them back for the most part in Lati here. Yeah, but then they've re-diverted down to this uh, to the coastal towns. Well, I was on a balanced budget. I'm now going to say, let's go for improved credit rating. Because <laughs> my credit rating is atrocious. Like, the Russians will, will stall out here pretty they soon. They are. They're, they're, they're moving through a lot of units along the, the roads to the north. Yeah, but there's no supply up there, so they're going to they're gonna stall out pretty soon. I think I might take my Air Force They're going to be them. stalling out. <laughs> 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 This is why Romania is not invited to any of the good parties. <laughs> True. All right, so you guys are going to air patrol over here and try to help them out. Oh, the transport's still there. <laughs> He's still in super Hercules. He's going into a I thought I told him to go south. <laughs> I thought I told him to go home. Go home! You're drunk. Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Anybody? Anybody? Well, despite being bankrupt, my approval rating is going up. No, don't, don't retreat, Vince. Well, you're probably going bankrupt because you're spending on social programs or something. Oh, which everybody That's should. A uh, everybody should definitely uh, consider spending a lot on their infrastructure because that improves your supply a lot. Uh, is that just a slider somewhere? Yes. So you'll go to your finance tab and then you want to go to your um, your social spending and the hard hat and cone is the infrastructure social spending social spending uh social assist, uh, hard hat and cone infrastructure okay daily investments about 50 million 
quality ratings 82 percent so we can yeah there'll that be up. like a recommendation but i know no i know one of the common bits of advice is that make sure you're spending everything you can on infrastructure it's a pretty common uh all right let's just crank advice. that up why did my planes fly all the way back to poland probably to get repaired they've been in constant combat missions for like a week yeah why do we say bonds so what you do, assuming you have the funds for it, what you do is you select on on your you got your minister tab there, yep, and then you're gonna select the bond itself, yeah, and then a new little icon will appear next to the issue bonds, which is a, gonna be a little piece of paper with a red dollar sign on it. You just click that, and that'll repay the bond. Well, I don't have the money for it at the moment, but um, <laughs> I keep on increasing taxes and reducing spending, and then I just go further into debt. Apparently, yeah, that's not. Like uncommon necessarily. I, I had a really hard time balancing my budget uh, off the bat as well, like manually. I ended up just leaving a lot of it under minister control. I usually just lock oh, out. Was. He, he was the one that got me into this mess. I don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> it's all his fault. Alright, so my transports went there. I think I can reserve my transports. Yeah, it looks like the well, the Russians stopped for a while, but then they renewed their attack. Mm-hmm. As soon as the Polish Air Force uh, left, they renewed their attack. I I, I put the fear of, of uh, uh, who's a famous Polak? Um, <laughs> Good luck, <laughs> Madame Curie. I mean, the Russians are are having. Tr I mean, they're taking casualties. It's just that there's a lot of them. Ah, okay. So, uh, question. Um, when units go to repair, they go into reserve, correct? Right. Yes. Okay. Well, kind of. I mean, they, they will be in a reserve state for the duration of the repair, and then they will redeploy once they've been fully repaired. Okay. That's 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 what I thought. Because like my planes all flew back to Lublin, and uh, went into and went into reserve, and I was like, okay, maybe that's just them repairing and helicopter attack helicopters. Those are good in those are good for doodling. They're good for that close air support bonus, only really in um, in close concert with like your ground forces. By themselves, they're really not like the greatest. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's been a pretty good episode. Uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed this, uh, please take a look at the other perspectives down below. Uh, give the episodes a like uh, if you really like them. Subscribe uh, and. Um, and check out the uh, Discord and Patreon links in uh, the descriptions down below. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. See Bye. You later.